Does your chainsaw not want to start? Does it run poorly and die often? If so, you might need a new carburetor. The carburetor is one of the key components when it comes to a smooth running saw. The carburetor brings fuel and air together and mixes them in the perfect ratio for combustion. The carburetor is full of tiny passages, jets, and needles that route the fuel and meter the correct amount into the engine. These tiny openings can easily be clogged by any debris that make their way past the fuel or air filters. Once these passages become clogged, the engine will run poorly or not at all. Old fuel left sitting in the saw can cause the same problem as debris. As old fuel sits in the carburetor, it will begin to break down and separate, creating a thick gel-like blockage and varnishing the metal surfaces. It will also harden the diaphragm and gaskets. Today, many areas have ethanol added to their fuels. Ethanol creates even more problems. The ethanol attracts water, which then forms an acid. The acid will corrode the metal inside of the carburetor, blocking passages and often causing the metering needle to stick. While most carburetors can be rebuilt, sometimes a new carburetor is priced low enough that buying a rebuild kit and taking the time to install it just doesn't make sense. Replacing the carburetor is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Before you begin, you'll want to go ahead and drain the fuel out of the saw. I'll begin by removing the top cover. Now remove the air filter cover. Just simply sits over the top of the air filter base. Now I can remove the air filter. Now I can remove the air filter base. Next, I'll remove the throttle linkage. I'll pull the trigger so I can access the end of the linkage and pull it away from the trigger. And now I'll remove the carburetor. Now I need to remove the starter assembly. Now remove the incoming fuel line from the carburetor. There's two tabs on the back of the primer bulb that hold it in place. I'll go ahead and release those with a screwdriver so I can pull the primer bulb away from the saw. The last piece I need to remove from the carburetor is the choke lever. Here is the new carburetor, and I'll go ahead and install the choke lever. Now I'll reinstall the incoming fuel line back to the carburetor. And I'll install the return line back onto the nipple on the primer bolt. Now I'll reinstall the starter assembly. Now I can install the carburetor back onto the saw. I'll make sure that the intake tube lines up with the carb as I slide this back onto the saw. Now reinstall the throttle linkage. It goes into the hole on the carburetor. Then again, I'll pull the trigger and slide the linkage back into place. Now reinstall the air filter base and secure it to the carburetor.
Now I can install the air filter. Just line it up with the air filter base and make sure I get a good seal all the way around the edge. Now I'll install the air filter cover. I want to make sure that it seals all the way around the air filter base. Yeah, just like that. And now I can install the cover.